Merry Christmas, good morning, and a blessed uh, feast of St. Stephen to you as we gather for our prayer service today. Uh, we'll be remembering St. Stephen, a martyr. Let's go ahead and begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. St. Stephen, Martyr. St. Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, was one of the church's first seven deacons. He was appointed by the leaders of the church to distribute food and other necessities to the poor in the growing Christian community in Jerusalem, thereby giving the apostles more time for their public ministry of proclamation. He and the other deacons apparently were expected not only to wait on tables, but also to teach and preach. When some of his colleagues became jealous of him, they, saw, they brought Stephen to the Sanhedrin and falsely charged him with blaspheming against Moses. Stephen's confession of faith, along with his rebuke of the members of the Sanhedrin for rejecting their Messiah and being responsible for his death, so infuriated them that they dragged him out of the city and stoned him to death. Stephen is honored as the church's first martyr and for his words of co commendation and forgiveness as he lay dying. Lord Jesus, receive my spirit, and Lord, do not hold this sin against them. Acts 7, 59 through 60. Psalm 119. Righteous are you, O Lord, and right, right are your just decrees. You have appointed your testimonies in righteousness and in all faithfulness. My zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. Your promise is well tried and your servant loves it. I am dis small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is righteous forever and your law is true. Trouble and anguish have found me out, but your commandments are my delight. Your testimonies are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. A reading from the book of Acts, chapter 6 and 7. And Stephen, full of grace and power, was doing great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, and of the Cyrenians and of the Alexandrians and of those from Sicilia and Asia, rose up and disputed with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and spirit with which he was speaking. Then they secretly instigated men who said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes, and they came upon him and seized him and brought him before the council. And they set up false witnesses who said, This man never ceases to speak words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth would destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses delivered to us. And gazing at him, all who sat in the council saw that his face was like the face of an angel. And the high priest said, Are these things so? And Stephen said, Brothers, and fathers, hear me. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do you. Which of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? And they killed those who announced beforehand the coming of the righteous one, whom you have now betrayed and murdered. You who have received the law as delivered by angels and did not keep it. Now when they heard these things, they were enraged, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out with a loud voice, and stopped their ears, and rushed together at him. 
Then they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul. And as they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And falling to his knees, he cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven 
and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble, I call upon you, for you answer me. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart. And I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. Heavenly Father, in the midst of our sufferings for the sake of Christ, grant us grace to follow the example of the first martyr, Stephen, that we also may look to the one who suffered and was crucified on our behalf and pray for those who do, know, who do us wrong. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, before whom all in heaven and earth shall bow. Grant courage that your children may confess your saving name in the face of any opposition from a world hostile to the gospel. Help them to remember your faithful people who sacrificed much and even faced death rather than dishonor you when called upon to deny the faith. By your spirit, strengthen them to be faithful and to confess you boldly knowing that you will confess your own before the Father in heaven, with whom you and the Holy Spirit live and reign, one God now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, the fount of all wisdom, by your Holy Spirit enlighten those who teach and those who learn, that rejoicing in the knowledge of your truth, they may worship you and serve you from generation to generation, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs>